Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to kind of like a first on my channel. So today we're actually going to be doing a create a sim must have custom content video kind of thing. So basically these are, I went through and I picked out I think about, I don't know, I can't remember, I think it's like 22 or 24 or something like that. Custom, create a sim custom content items or stuff like that that I really can't live without. These are the things that I would definitely recommend to anyone that's looking to maybe get into custom content and maybe they don't know where to start or you know maybe you're you know you're curious about custom content but you don't want to bog down your game or anything like that. These are the items that I would definitely recommend to anyone that's just looking for a few like staple pieces in their custom, you know, in their CC folder, in their mods folder. So I think we're going to start off with, I think, face details first off. So obviously you guys will see that my sim does have some 3D lashes and these are the lashes by Kajiko. I hope I'm saying that right, but yeah. So these are the lashes by Kajiko. I do have the normal length version and the expansion the expansion mesh so this is these are those really long eyelashes and then I also have the remove EA eyelashes mod by Kajiko as well now just before I forget I will leave a probably a tumblr post down below where I do have a list of all of these you know of everything that I'm showing you guys today and you know all of the links and everything like that will be down below so if you want anything that I mentioned today definitely go and check out that post but yeah so moving on we I also have the Ooh Smooth Butts Edition skin that I use on literally all my sims all my sims have this skin on and under that I do have a default skin which is the Mad Mono Night skin and yeah this is what she looks like with just the default skin in and this is what she looks like with Ooh, smooth over it so those are definitely my two favorite skin combinations so moving on to hair I do have two different hairstyles one is a longer hairstyle this one obviously and the other one is a shorter hairstyle now the shorter one is by I can't really it's by wild pixel yeah it's by wild pixel and then the longer one is by Sicilian. Now I will leave links to both of these down below and I thought I would pick two hairstyles since yeah I think it's nice to show you guys maybe you know two different totally different hairstyles. These are completely different obviously and I really like this one. This one is actually one of my favorite hairs that I have. So yeah these are two of my favorite hairstyles and yeah so makeup wise I do have quite a bit of makeup that I can't live without and first off is this Mao dude I'm really butchering that but whatever the correct name will be in the description but yeah so first off is this eyeshadow I don't think you guys can really see her eyeshadow let me take off her lashes for a second so that I can know so that I can show you her eyeshadow so let's just filter this and yeah, it's this one, and I really love this one. It has the most gorgeous swatches and colors, and it has this really smoky effect, even without the eyeliner. It looks really weird without eyeliner and eyelashes, but all your sims will probably look weird without those. But yeah, so this is my first eyeshadow that I wanted to show you guys. And the second one is by Mysterious Dane. So I'm hoping I'm I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly as well. But yeah, this one again has a ton of swatches and I like both of these since they do have swatches that can work on fairer sims, on medium skin tone sims, on darker sims, and they also have, you know, just some nice nude colours and some really fun colours as well which is another reason why they are two of my favorite eyeshadows and then for eyeliner I basically only have one eyeliner that I actually use and it's this one by Urban Sims by X Urban Sims it's yeah it's just her simple liner it has four swatches you know it var varies a little bit you know have she has one with you know a little bit more smudged a smoky eye you know a, a bigger cat eye and a smaller one I really like this liner it is 
like I said, my favorite liner, and it's basically the only one that I actually use. Now, for blush, I do have this blush by, who is it by again? I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, it's by Blue Moon Sims. And yeah, this is literally another, like I said, these are all items that I use quite a lot on all of my Sims. These are like my go-to items. So I really like this blush. And again, like with the eyeshadow, it has a ton of different swatches that can work on different skin tones. And it's not too overpowering. It's not too strong or too dark or anything like that, which that's something that I really like, especially when it comes to blush. Now for lipsticks, again, I only have two that I really use. I use all of Urban Sims' lip lip kits. I use all of them, but this one I think is my favorite. It's her full spectrum lip kit. And yeah, it has a ton of swatches, lots of darker colors. I actually really love this purplish color. And then she has some nudes in here. And yeah, it's just, I don't know, all of her custom, all of her makeup custom content especially is just it's stunning all of it is stunning and I would definitely recommend it and then second we have this matte the, this matte lipstick by Kotkat and again Kotkat is one of my favorite makeup creators I love all of their lipsticks and I think I have all of their lipsticks in my game but for the purposes of this video this is actually my favorite one and again I don't know a lot of my lipstick especially I like all of them because they have, like I said, so many different variations of color or it, they, they're so versatile. They can work on a lot of different sims, a lot of different skin tones and all of that stuff. So yeah, that's basically everything for makeup and hair. Now for the accessories, I do have ex the accessory eyelashes as well by Kajiko. You guys can obviously download them for accessories or for the skin details. Now the skin detail ones, if you guys download those and you have those on your sims, they do actually glitch out if you have your sims wear rings or certain nail polishes or stuff like that. They do glitch out with those. And just in that, in that case, if I want to give my sims na um, nail polishes or rings or anything, I do just give them the accessory versions. They're not different in any way, but yeah, so I just thought I'd mention that. Now for accessories, I do have these two earrings that I really love. They're both by the same creator. They're by Julieta. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Julieta Sims or Fayona, like it says here on the picture. Now these are just some really pretty lotus blossom earrings. And I'm in love with these. I would actually like these in real life. Thank you very much. And then second off, we have these little triangle earrings with those little pearls. And yeah, these two earrings are just, like I said, some of my favorites. And I think they're really versatile, which is something that I love again. Now, I don't have any like glasses or anything that I tend to use all that often. But I couldn't do this video without including some kind of choker. I... I really love my chokers in the game. If you guys have watched any of my creators and videos, you'll notice that I do have a lot of CC chokers and necklaces and stuff. But this is probably one of my favorites and I love it since it looks like it has different gemstones. And this one is by Enrique and the, again they have a lot of different hairstyles and I think they also do makeup. I could be wrong with that one. But I do know they have a lot of hairstyles and accessories and stuff. And all of their stuff is absolutely stunning. So that's basically everything for her head. For her, yeah, for her, the top part of her. Now, for her tops, I do have this little bodysuit that I really love. I love this one especially. But it's a by, it's by Smurbe. I'm probably pronouncing that way wrong. But yeah, it's the Lenora bodysuit and they have a lot of other ones as well. And I do have a lot of their other ones in my game normally. But yeah, this one is one of my favorites. I really love it. You can layer it under, you know, accessory jacket l jackets like this one. And this accessory jacket is actually by Simple Simmer. It's part of like a set that she has. And yeah, I have all of the other ones as well. <laughs> I keep saying that, but 
yeah, these are just some of my favorite in-game items, ones that I use a lot. So yeah, the top, the body, little bodysuit thing and the accessory jacket go really well together. But you can also layer this, you know, this jacket with just a plain in-game tank top or yeah, I think it works with quite a few other quite a few other tops as well. It doesn't just need to be custom content tops. Like this one, for example, it looks really great with this one. And even maybe some sports bras or whatever you want your sims to be in, basically. It is really versatile, so it can work with a lot of different stuff. And then these are some of the things that I cannot do without. And it's these two pairs of jeans. It's this one, and they're both by Crazy Cupcake. And yeah, I just, I can't do without my skinny jeans. The game just has a serious lack of really skinny fitted jeans. And yeah, I can't play my game without these basically. And yeah, this one, this one is a bit more, I don't want to say edgy, but yeah, a bit more edgy with the little rips. And it is like cuffed at the ankles. And then this one on the other hand, you'll probably see it better in this outfit. Is just a more plain, you know, plain casual, casual jean that I love. And yeah, so this is the other top that I wanted to show you. I did put together those two outfits. But yeah, so this is another top. And it's by, who's it by again? It's by Stephanie Sims. I wrote all of these names down. But I'm probably mispronouncing every single one. But yeah, this will be linked down below. It is part of a set, but once you download it, you can separate out the files and just put what you want in your game. So yeah, this is a really gorgeous hoodie that, again, I love. I use this a lot in my personal gameplay, since we need some more casual hoodies in the game. And yeah, this one is this one has some, not patterns, but like stripes and stuff on it. Or you have these with like two-toned arms and stuff. And then you also have this version that's just completely plain. And yeah, I really like these. They're just some comfortable, comfortable, some something comfortable that you can have your Sims wear on any occasion when they're home or whatever. And then the only other accessory that I have for, you know, full body is these nails. Again, by Simple Simmer. And she has or they have these in these plain colors but you also get them in like multicolored ones where all of your sims nails are different colors and that's really cool i like that one that one as well but yeah i mostly use these like plain swatches and then for shoes we have these sneakers by java bean dreams by java bean dream sims or something like that again all of these correct all of the correct links will be down below in that post so yeah you guys don't have to google search what i'm telling you the names of but yeah i really like these sneakers these are probably my favorite custom sneakers for a while i was avoiding custom sneakers but once i got into it i just couldn't stop and this is probably the favorite pair that i found and it ha they have some you know plainer swatches unfortunately they don't have a plain white or a plain black swatch but they do have these you know floral printed ones that have a bit more black in them and stuff like that which is really nice and then obviously we have these boots and these boots are by madeline so they are kind of alpha i'm not gonna lie especially the white ones in the white color swatch they do look really alpha but i'm of the mind that I don't really mind alpha clothes and accessories and shoes too, too much unless they're like super out there and really don't look good in the game. But yeah, I'm just of the mind that I avoid alpha hairs and as much alpha makeup as possible. But I don't mind alpha clothes and accessories all that much and these boots really are gorgeous, especially in the black and the brown. I can't really tell that they're not Max's match, so I'm totally fine with them. But these are, yeah, these are basically all of the outfits and, not outfits, but items that I wanted to show you guys. Oh yeah, they're not all of the stuff that I wanted to show you guys, I almost forgot. I also wanted to show you these custom traits. So you'll notice her traits are natural cook, naturally slim and charming. 
These are actually all part of a trait, a trait, custom trait pack by Kawhi Stacy, and this is her first one. She has three of them, and this is just the first one. I only use traits from that one, but basically it adds a ton of custom traits to your game that you can give your Sims, and they all actually come with, you know, special special interactions in game or special moodlets so they actually have an impact on your sims they're not just decorative they actually have an impact on your sims' personality which i really love i love having a you know lots of different ways to customize my sims so this trade pack come trade pack comes with stuff like negative so these sims are very negative they ruin lots of relationships because of their negativity Positive, these sims are really positive, they build relationships quickly and make sims around them happy. Then you have stuff like handy, these sims are obviously handier, <laughs> natural cook, sporty, these sims love to watch and play sports. Wor waterholic, these sims love water, they drink a lot of water and they love swimming. You also have stuff like drowsy. These sims enjoy sleeping and tend to get sleepy often. Good parent. These sims are good parents. They build relationships, friendships, and the parenting skill faster. Obviously, you have naturally slim. Naturally slim. Wow, I can't speak. These sims have a high metabolism, which means they do not keep weight on. In fact, they lose weight rather quickly, which is something that... A Along with naturally thick, these sims have a slow metabolism, which means they gain weight quickly. Which is something that I just think adds a whole nother layer to your sims. Since, you know, for storytelling purposes, sometimes you have a curvier sim, and then they go jogging like twice, just to, you know, stay healthy. And then they end up losing all of their curves, and they're super skinny for some weird reason, even though they just went jogging like twice. Which is super unrealistic, in my opinion. I mean, you don't lose weight that quickly in real life. But, yeah, so I just really like those. And then you have Piggy. These sims are, these sims really love food and are willing to accept the consequences of overeating. You know, there are a lot of different traits in this pack. You know, charming, have a very unique charm. And they build relationships and friendships faster funny or ama they're amazing comedians and they build relationships faster and they do better in their entertainer career you have yeah i think those are all of the custom ones i don't know if i missed any but yeah i have all three of those straight packs in my game as well so i really love those and i would definitely suggest you guys go and check out some of kawaii stacy's other mods but yeah these are all the items that i consider like must-haves for creator sim custom content for female sims anyway i don't i don't know if you guys would like to see me do one of these for male sims if you would like to see me do one for male sims maybe i do have a few things that come to mind when i think of male sims i don't actually have them in my game right now so i can't really show you but yeah i do have a things that a few things that come to mind when i think of stuff that I really want for my male sims in my game like always so let me know if you want to see a video about your know, male custom content but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this I know it's been really different from what I usually post and I actually have no idea how long this video has been so I'm really sorry if it's super long but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this like I said all of the links to these custom content pieces that I mentioned will all be in the description below in probably either in either a tumblr post or in a google doc i don't know which one i'm going to be doing but it will be in either of those basically and yeah if you guys did like this video do give it a like and since that lets me know that you guys like the video and would like to see more of these kinds of videos and yeah if you're new to the channel feel free to hit that subscribe button and remember to stick around for more videos and to turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos when I upload. But yeah, I hope you guys are having an absolutely awesome day and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye everyone!